the thing these really, kids really want to know from their adoptive parents is they understand their loss. I mean, wherever I go in the world, this is what they tell me. I just wanted my parents to understand the, my loss, the loss of my first mom. And, and of course, they couldn't say it to her because they felt they'd hurt her feelings. Or sometimes they, they don't, didn't even know enough to say it in the first place. But that's what they really want. Because what happens when they don't have that connection to somebody in the pain they're in is that they feel so alone, so absolutely alone. And that's why a lot of adoptees, when they're feeling bad, they, they just want to be alone because that's their, that's their go back to default place. They're not used to, to being with somebody. They're not, you know, those of us who were raised by our original mothers who stayed home with us and took care of us and didn't put us in they, they care. You know, I mean, we had that, that sure, wonderful, caring feeling of, of really being cared about. You know, it, it wasn't something that you read about in a, in a story or something. And so, so there is a feeling then of being safe, of having safety. And these kids don't have that feeling of being safe. Um, so as they, in addition to this, co these coping mechanisms that these kids are dealing with, as I say, which is the behavior you see, but which you must not consider who they are, this behavior you see, then you have the fact that they're living in a, a family where there's no, there are no genetic cues, they don't see themselves reflected in the way they walk or talk or anything. They don't see themselves reflected. So they, they have to be very observant and they have to keep watching and figuring out how to be in the family. So then you have the adaptive child. You have the coping child and the adaptive child. So what happens to the genetic child? Well, the genetic child gets kind of lost in all of that. Because, after all, it was the genetic child that got kicked out of the kingdom, right? It was the genetic, it was the child before they did anything wrong. It was just the child who was, who, whose mother just disappeared. So the genetic child is pretty scary. I mean, you know, when I work with adoptees to get to the authentic self, there's a real resistance there. I mean, it's like, well, I don't know if I want to know that person or not, you know, that person inside me because look what happened to her or him. 